spring has definitely sprung now, so let's go and find some bluebells. I came to my local nature reserve today because the bluebells are now full in bloom. This year it seems that the nature is behind at least three, four weeks. Usually I can come here in the middle of April, but this winter was very, very cold. There are a couple of things I like to try this evening and Hopefully tomorrow morning as well I can, if I can return. I like to use my new lens which I haven't used for macro. And also I like to take some intimate details of this beautiful, beautiful bluebell woods. So that's the plan for tonight and I have about two hours before the sun is setting so I'm gonna have a good look around and try to find some compositions which would work well with telephoto lens and also a couple for, for macros. I think I found my first composition this beautiful mossy tree trunk and uh, the bluebells all over around it. It's really nice because if you can see this little root which is coming from the bottom left corner of the frame that acts as a really nice leading line up to the tree trunk and uh, I'm gonna take the shot probably with my 40 millimeter lens at uh, a very very shallow depth of field. I'm gonna try f 1.2 and then maybe I'm gonna try it also on f 1.8 f2. turn back now because I reached the middle of the woods and there are not that many bluebells here so I'm gonna go back to the edge of the nature reserve and sunset is approaching I like to find some nice close-up compositions I don't know if you can see it, but I am eyeing with a nice roe deer. Just ran away at the moment.
function when it's the setting sun, where the setting sun creates nice bokeh balls and also the quality of the bokehs looks a little bit like the impressionist, impressionist style. So a lot of come on, find it please. So I'm gonna play here a little bit longer and hopefully I gonna find what I'm looking for. Couldn't really find a composition for the for my telephoto, a nice intimate detail of this beautiful bluebell woods. So I stick to the close-up today, and uh, it's getting close to sunset now. I think I'm going to call it a day, and hope I can come back tomorrow morning for a sunrise shoot. I'm gonna go into the nature reserve from the other direction, from the eastern entrance, because the sun is rising from that direction. So hopefully I can find there a little bit more uh, for my telephoto lens. I really like to use that 100 to 400 lens and just pick a little details from this blue bevel. See you tomorrow morning. Good morning, it's 5.15 in the morning, half an hour before sunset. It is really a beautiful morning, very calm, a little bit chilly, but it's beautiful. There are literally no clouds on the sky and uh, it's going to be a clear sunrise and I really hope that's gonna give me a nice side light for my photos. I just have to walk through the fields and get into the nature reserve and then I'm going to start my hunt for compositions. forget that this area is not really covered with bluebells but if I move over a little bit further to the west 
then that's probably a better place for bluebells. Here we are. It's really beautiful here, but I don't know how close I can get. I agree with this sign because a lot of people just don't respect these beautiful flowers. need a little bit stronger light which gives me a bit a bit more contrast I like this composition the bluebells between the two trees and uh, light is coming from behind. Maybe I'm gonna lower a little bit my tripod and try that way too. How cute this little fern is. I can't leave it here. This is really really interesting. Life is just has just started. I think uh, I'm gonna finish for today. The light is a bit too harsh for macros and close-ups now. I took some photos from blue bears. I took some intimate details of this beautiful, beautiful nature reserve. I hope uh, some are going to turn out right. See you soon. <laughs>